do is this this extension drill where your arms are locked you're going to keep your arms locked and you're going to work on doing that at home but this was your swing that's much better extension much better extension And that's what I want. Now, what am I talking about? Extension. I'm talking about the distance your hands are from your center. That's your radius or the width of your swing. And that's what we're trying to improve. So that's going to correlate when you hit good shots. You see, there's not a lot of bending there. Your arms are, yeah, maybe a little bending, but not much. And I like that. This, That left arm, the left elbow, I got to keep you from bending that. I want you to keep both arms fully extended. Uh, but this was good. Okay, you hit the ball. You didn't. That's good. And not as big a shoulder turn, but you kept the left arm nice and straight there. Do, do I want a bigger shoulder turn? Yeah, a little bit bigger than than that. But it's you got a lot of clothes on. It's cold out. You know, there's a lot of factors involved here. But eventually, yeah. The head seems to not. I need to keep the head. Well, your shoulders turn too flat. So you got two issues going on. Okay. So shoulders have to turn on a more tilted plane instead of a flat plane. More tilted plane. That will keep your head still. Because watch, when your shoulders turn level, your head moves off the ball. So your shoulders have to turn on a tilted plane. The other thing is you stand up. And this is, the, this is why you're, this is the number one culprit for your in, inconsistency. So when we look at good players, the, the best players in the world, they all go down. They don't go up. So, you know, look, I'm not here to... Justin Thomas drive the ball. Right. He get, he oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> but he squats on his backswing. But this is Chella Choi. This is a girl. Now, you can see. Now, watch this little move with her hips. I'm going to just put a, a circle on her skirt. Now, watch this. This is what? Watch her lower body. Yeah. See that little move? Yeah. So, her arms are still going back, but what's that lower body doing? It's, sh it's shifting. Now, her head stays down and through the strike. Now, watch the lead arm. And this, I put women on here because they more closely resemble. See the left arm? That's what we're looking for. Now watch, th straight. yeah. Now watch through the ball. Still pretty straight, right? Yeah. Notice her head. It's still down, right? She hasn't come up. Okay. So, so these are the things in your golf swing, and you know you have to understand that this is a deeply embedded motor program for you. So it's not like oh, you know, instantly you're going to change this. But right here, you now watch. This is where your head starts to come up. See it? See it? See it? See it? See it? So there is where you go wrong. See? So, my so up my right. So right here you start standing up out of your posture and you hit it thin, you hit it fat, you hit it on the toe, you hit it, you know, so, but, okay, so I don't want to focus on the negative because this was a really good swing in the sense that the extension was much better through the ball. That's really good. All right, so you can see your extension. I mean, that's awesome. Why do I say that's awesome? Because I've watched you for a while never have that kind of extension. So that's really good. See the lead elbow? Bob, what do you notice about her elbow and your elbow? What do you think the difference is there between those two? Yeah, so mine is curved right there. Right. So bent, okay, straight. so you've got a bigger space in here, right? Because right. your el elbow is up, right? right? So look, when you practice at home, I want your elbows to stay down. Okay. Should I, you know, I have a couple of those bands. Should I put a band? That wouldn't hurt you, but there's no evidence to say that it'll transfer. The research is clear. If you use a guidance device, you've got to take it on and off because your brain has to know you don't want it to be a crutch. But look, see, this is what I wanted to show you. Her left arm, like if you had a handkerchief under your left arm, you see how tight it is to her body there? Yep. Your elbow's off your body there. I don't, but I did as a, you know, my, my, my people did as kids. So I mean, my, my dad did. I yeah. carry one every day. I've given them to my three boys. They don't do None it. None of them carry them. <laughs> no, I could never get in the habit of it. I, it is, a, it's like having a comb, but I don't even need a comb anymore. It's really funny. It, it, no, it's really a good thing. You know, I learned it from my grandfather and father, and I didn't, I didn't, right. I didn't do it. But, you know, it's, it's important. So this is good. I mean, this, you know. These you see the head right there? Just yeah. come up a little. But these are the things I want you to be practicing because, you, you know, subconsciously, you don't realize you're doing some of the stuff right. you're doing. Like, this is good to right here, but then it comes up. Right. Right. But look at the balance there. I mean, there's a lot of good things here. I mean, if I showed you some video from when you played last year, you... This, I'm 